What is with the fingers? Ah, no. Anyway, let's see how they work. Okay, there we go. Right, so I'm Handsome Tez, and here's where to find the Mantis Blades. So you want to be Edward Scissorhands, or Victor Breadknife Hands, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to show you the Mantis Blades for each level. So that's rare, epic, and legendary. Because in Cyberpunk, you level up when you're using a certain weapon. So you'll level up in Blades when you're using Blades, for example. So let's get started. The first place we need to go is Kabuki in Watson, just here. Okay, see this Ripper Dock? I'll just show you the way to go. So we just go along the street here after you've been to that fast travel point, and you'll see him down here on the scaffolding. Bit of a back alley kind of ripper duck here, but still he does good work. Okay, and here you will see the Mantis Blades. They require 20 street cred and cost just over 15,000 eddies. Not too bad. Now the next one is over here in Arroyo in Santo Domingo. And you just go in here. These ones require 25 street cred, so it's almost... It's up to yourselves, but I would almost consider skipping the 15,000 ones and going straight for these ones. And they only cost 22,850 euro dollars. Now, on to the legendary. So for the legendary, we're going to Duck Rider in Wellsprings in Haywood. Now, he's just on the corner here. Now, this is the same place I got the mono wire, and it's where you can get all the legendary arm upgrades. In fact, each of these Ripper Docks also has the arm upgrades for the other weapons. So that's the Gorilla Arms, the Mantis Blades, the Mono Wire, and the Projectile Launcher. If you're looking for the other things, you can just use this guide as reference if you want. So if we check it out here, these ones require 45 street cred, so they really are going to be much further along in the game when you're getting them, and they cost 55,350, which, again, is something you're only really going to be able to afford further along in the game. Either way, you're not going to be able to get these straight away, so if you want to start using the Mantis Blades earlier, you can buy them at those other locations if you want. There are probably other places you can find them, but these are the places I use. There's one other place you can get the legendary ones, Doc Rider again, and he's like, what the... Jesus, did you... Look at that! Car emerging from the ground. Um, yeah, so it's this one, also Doc Rider. It must just be a brand of Ripper Doc. So, a uh, different guy, obviously. So, um, he also has the same ones. Again, they cost the same amount and they require the same amount of street cred 45. Okay, so let's just take a look at them. So, here we are in photo mode and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not exactly like the first teaser trailer. <laughs> oh my god, it looks horrendous. What is with the fingers? Ah, no. Anyway, let's see how they work. Just find someone to attack. Uh, you'll do. Come on, Bennett. Let's party. Take that, Skynet. There we go. I've only really used the Mantis Blades on and off. I've not really put much into them. I prefer using Katanas. But they are still a lot of fun. They're very fast. And again, they're quite iconic because they're the Mantis Blades from the uh, original trailer. But there we go, that's that's the Mantis Blades. So if this was useful to you, don't forget to drop me a like. And um, yeah, if you've got any other videos you'd like to see or any feedback, don't forget to let me know in the comments below and I'll uh, try and make that happen. All right, I will see you in my next video, hopefully. Take care, bye. Sure.